Okay, so here's the thing. I realized when I was in an all-female band that female performers have to put out way more effort into looks than guys. Now guys, I love you. And this comes from a non-biased gender person. But damn, y'all have it easier. For special performances, I usually have to go shopping for a look that I can probably only wear a few more times because everyone now has photographers and videographers and the social medias. Me. I look around at my bandmates. Nice jersey and jeans, bro. Yes, I am hating i want to be comfortable too let me be clear i'm not speaking on behalf of all women because i know some women who love to shop and take pride in how they look <laughs> not this gal i am a comfortable dresser experimenting playing in heels fancy outfits different hairstyles something new even jewelry or makeup i've just been super uncomfortably awkward with getting glammed up i look at performers like herbie hancock chick korea and those guys come on stage wearing old shirts and polos sounding like dream Dreams. It doesn't matter what they look like, they sound amazing. The audience doesn't expect anything differently either. For many years, I used to go by this logic. It doesn't matter how I look, once I sound good, I'm good. It kind of irks me to see people dressed up so fabulous. And then when they start performing, wop, wop, wop. because first of all, you lied, okay? You lied to me with your pretty outfit and your 10 out of 10 visual presentation. That's like buying an amazing, well presented meal. And then when you taste it, it's like, what the f is this? You caught my my eye but you betrayed my ears i always prefer to look like shit and then when i start playing everyone react i feel like you have no choice but to actually listen as opposed to judge me visually all kicks aside i think i used to try to underwhelm people visually so that they can have low expectations and actually take in my music and truly listen as opposed to wait to be impressed there were many times i've been told about how to dress because let's be real sex sells Sex is a brand, and if you look good, you carry the product further. And I'll come back to this. Then there are people who look fabulous and also sound amazing. This blew my mind for a while. It was motivating. After my many years of being someone who dressed down and then started dressing up, here's what I learned. In everything, there's balance. Even though I'm still very much lazy and carefree, after a while, I'm really enjoying the skin that I'm in. Looking good sometimes does feel good. So I may put a little effort into showering, a little makeup, a little spritz of the perfume, get a little expressive in what I wear. But for me, I enjoy trying to be myself and find myself. I may have on a really beautiful dress, but I love being barefooted. Really nice makeup up but my hair is just out and messy free i still sort of coast on guys for having it easier with dress code because i feel like i spend unnecessary time trying to find something to wear but on the flip side their clothes are more expensive than women so all right now getting back to what people want you to dress like at the end of the day you be you you see being a creative is a weird mix between self-expression and business so really there's no black and white wrong or right as a creative you create better when you're yourself whatever your views are go with it it's okay to explain experiment or switch it up your style and opinion may change that's fine i'm in a band that our dress code is to dress like yourself always even if that means dressing like a fucking horse and i'm in another band that looks are important and it is a part of the package and hey i do both happily it's good to find out general information about the venue you're performing because you don't want to be too out there with being underdressed or overdressed but my main thing is sound good no matter what the f you wear master your craft go practice good luck Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've created videos, things have been super busy, so honestly, I don't think I'll be able to keep up with every Tuesday, but I'll definitely aim for weekly posts. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching the video and for sharing and liking and subscribing. It actually helps a lot. I think a lot of people could enjoy this if they knew it existed, so it's up to you guys to help me share it. I would really appreciate it. I love you guys for supporting me. You can also check out other episodes in case you miss any on my YouTube channel, and I'll also put a link for my website where you can check out everything that I do in the description below. Thank you. Bye-bye.